YouTube. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the BlackBerry Classic versus the Unihertz Titan Pocket in 2023. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. So, the Unihertz Titan Pocket has been out for over two years now, and it really is a spiritual successor to this phone, the BlackBerry Classic. This phone still has quite a loyal fan following, it has been released for over eight years, but a lot of people still swear by it due to its unique features. And a lot of these unique features are replicated in the Unihertz Titan Pocket. And if you're deciding between the two phones, there's actually several deciding factors that you might want to consider in 2023 when picking between these two phones. The first thing that you want to go for is the price. The Unihertz Titan Pocket can actually be purchased directly from Unihertz still to this day, whereas the BlackBerry Classic has long been discontinued. And you'll be able, only be able to pick this up on the used market. For, for what it's worth, the pricing, depending on your region for the Unihertz Titan Pocket, is actually great for what you get. So being the newer phone, the naturally the Unihertz Titan Pocket has much nicer specs. It comes with 128 gigabytes of internal memory, 6 gigabytes of RAM, preloaded with Android 11, and having a MediaTek Kilo P70 processor, it by a far stretch outperforms the specs on the BlackBerry Classic. Coming out much later, of course, the Unihertz Titan Pocket does enjoy these and you'll be able to run much more modern apps much more quickly with the better specs on the Unihertz Titan Pocket as the BlackBerry Classic really only has app support up to Android 4.3 and you have to jump through several hurdles to make sure that they run on the BlackBerry Classic. The classic specs, while decent back in the day, have aged quite a lot. It comes with a Qualcomm MSM 89060 Snapdragon S4 Plus processor. It comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM. And it comes with a 720 by 720 pixel screen, which is one to one. Of course, the main selling point of both of these phones is not the specifications but if you're looking to do any kind of normal smartphone features or functions then you definitely want to try for the Unihertz Titan Pocket as you'll be able to run a lot more different kind of apps. There's also some, several other features that actually make the form factors of these two phones quite different. As you can see just by looking at them they're really comparable in size and you have a really small one-to-one -one aspect ratio screen coupled with a keyboard that's almost equal the size of the screen. You'll notice a slight difference between the placement of the spacebar buttons on both of these keyboards here as the Unihertz Titan Pocket's keyboard actually has three rows of characters and the spacebar is actually on the bottom row. There's actually four rows on the BlackBerry Classic and the spacebar is dedicated on the bottom row along with your capital symbol and Record keys as well. This is a slight difference, but it does make a difference if you're used to having a dedicated row on the spacebar. Similarly, the top bar of both of these phones is quite different, as the Unihertz Titan Pocket actually comes with a built in fingerprint reader right in the center of the top row. Something I love about this phone, as it really makes it easy to securely unlock the phone when you have a dedicated reader right in the center of the phone there. In the same location of the BlackBerry Classic, of course, is a navigational nub on the Classic, which is a joy to use in and of itself as well. This, of course, is missing on the Unihertz Titan Pocket, but the phone does share several similarities in that it actually has a multitasking button and a back button right next to the center of the phone, whereas it's uh, placed on opposite sides on the Unihertz Titan Pocket. And so far as a typing experience, I have to say that these are very different feeling phones when you're typing on the physical keyboard. The Unihertz Titan Pocket has a lot of great key travel, but the tactile sensation definitely is on the more plasticky side. That being said though, the keyboard on the, Titan, the Unihertz Titan Pocket feels great and it's actually easy to achieve pretty good typing speeds on this phone. If you can get it to work, the, Uni the BlackBerry Classic keyboard is really unmatched these days as this was BlackBerry at its height. 
it has very well spaced and very large keys that are very easy to type quickly either one-handed or two-handed so you can't really go wrong if you're looking for the keyboard typing experience on both of these phones and what really this is going to come down to is actually usability it's actually somewhat difficult to get a usable BlackBerry Classic in 2023 as BlackBerry actually officially stopped support for this phone in 2022 so a lot of phones have been bricked depending on which carrier you find if you can find a working one you'll actually be able to probably get a decent price for it and it's a great bare bones phone that can still make calls emails and texts but if you're looking for a more bare bones experience you're not missing out on much by switching or upgrading to the Unihertz Titan Pocket you're great getting a great rugged form factor with most of the typing and form factor experience that you'll get from the BlackBerry Classic. If you're interested in either of these two phones as well, I really think that you can't go wrong with Unihertz Titan Pocket, as it's a great device and there's really nothing comparable to it on the market today. So what do you think? Who wins the battle in terms of small form factor physical keyboard phones in 2023? BlackBerry Classic or the Unihertz Titan Pocket? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.